The question is to find tangent of 17 pi over 12. The answer is 2 plus radical 3. This is a really good question and requires quite a bit of um, trigonology. Uh, first one you need to know is tangent of a plus b. Um, this is a little bit on the messy side, so tangent of a plus tangent of b. So the sign follows, and on the bottom is y minus tangent a times tangent b. Okay, that's the first piece of knowledge you need. Uh, second piece of uh, information you need is this. Tangent pi plus an angle is equal to tangent angle. If you want to plug it in there, you'll see that tangent of uh, pi is a zero, so this part disappears. Okay, this part disappears, the bottom disappears, so this one is true. The reason that this is useful is we get, get a large angle into a smaller reference number reference angle. So for instance, in this case of 17 pi over 12, the reference angle, you can calculate that by take a, a pi away. And that gives you um, a 5 pi over 12. This is a much smaller angle. And by the way, this angle is uh, it's 255 degrees, if you care to know. And the way you can find that is do 17 times 180 degrees divided by 12, because pi is really 180 degrees. Okay, that's just a side note. Now, another piece of information that's make it a, um, useful for this one is this is breaking down into a small um, special angle. The special angle in the first quadrant is 45 degrees, which is this one, pi over 4, and 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. So 30 degrees and uh, 45 degrees get you a 75, and this happened to be a 75 degrees. All right, with all those pieces of information, we pretty much um, have everything we need. So 17 pi over 12 is really equal to tangent of well, we said earlier 5 pi over 12, which also equal to tangent of pi over 4 plus pi over 6. Okay. From here, all we have to do is substitute into the original formula. 1 minus pi over 4 of tangent times tangent of pi over 6. Okay, I'm going to move it up a little bit. Okay. Now substituting numbers here, this is 1. Uh, later on I'll show you there's a little trick on how to remember all those numbers. So anyway, for now let's forge it through. Okay, so And then the bottom here is 1 minus radical 3 over 3. So if you uh, multiply 3 top and bottom, you'll have We'll move this up a little bit for us. Okay, so over here, I multiply top and bottom by 3. You'll see that this is equal to 3 plus radical 3 divided by 3 minus radical 3. Okay. Now, in a normal mathematical adequacy, we like to uh, rationalize it. So 3 plus radical 3, 3 minus radical 3. And the final answer, when you multiply it out and simplify it, you'll see it's equal to 2 plus radical 3. Okay, that's the answer. Okay. Um, regarding to this trick, how do you remember? The 30 degree, if we start over here, 30, 45, and 60. Okay. If I started on sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta is really easy. In that tangent theta is just the sine theta over cosine theta. Okay, so here's the trick how you remember the special values for each one. The order goes like this for sine, it's 1, 2, 3, and then all of them divided by 2. Okay, and then for cosine, it's backward. It goes 3, 2, 1, all of them divided by 2. Okay, from there, you can see since tangent is sine over cosine, this happened to be 1. This one, if you divide it, this is radical 3, and this is radical 3 over 3. All right? Have a confident day.